Let's talk about Dell Technologies World 2022. It's wonderful to be back. Hi, it's Marcus here again, your tech enthusiast. This is where we discuss everything around enterprise technologies, from bare metal to cloud native. If that's your kind of thing, maybe consider subscribing. After two and a half years of working from home and virtual meetings, it's so good to be back traveling and enjoying in-person events again. And what's more, I kicked off things with my first ever Dell Tech World. As usual, Dell Tech World was held in Las Vegas, which is obviously a place like no other. It's also an ideal location to arrange huge conferences for its unique facilities, immense hotel capacity and airport located practically in the middle of the city. Venue was the Venetian Resort, which is the second largest hotel complex in the world. It's the exact same venue where I attended my first HPE Discover back in 2019. <laughs> Pretty unreal to be able to say, I'm back. The event itself was flawlessly organized. I mean, exceptional. But then again, I guess Dell has practiced it a few times already. The event occupied three big exhibition halls. One for keynotes, one for solutions expo, and one entire hall was dedicated just for relaxing. This The Village area was one of my favorite things at the event. You could enjoy relaxing massages, watch esports, listen to live music, network with peers, do hands-on laps and much more. The official program was kicked off by Michael Dell himself with his keynote on Monday morning. There were really not many surprises there, but it was super interesting to see how similarly these big hybrid scalers see the future of enterprise tech. Michael Dell and many others that followed repeated that the future will be multi-cloud. It was very clear that that's what Dell wanted to be the leading theme of Dell Technologies World 2022. What Dell means by this is that customers are increasingly demanding easier IT consumption experience also for workloads that are running on-prem, very similar to that of public clouds. So in the future, all apps will be running in a cloud, somewhere. So, in addition to AWS, Azure, Google Cloud and other public clouds, on-prem locations will be cloudified too. But how do you bring cloud in the data centers and at the edge, you might ask? Well, cloud is just a user experience. Nothing more, nothing less. Cloud makes consuming IT easier. A lot easier. You're only paying for the service, the actual usage, not for the hardware. You don't have to worry about maintenance, upgrades or capacity. You just focus on using IT and pay a monthly fee. Easy and predictable. Just like public cloud. So how exactly is Dell delivering this cloud experience to customers? Well, with something called Dell Apex, a cloud service portfolio they launched quite exactly one year ago at the virtual Dell Tech World 2021. Initially, Apex was very much focused on delivering only storage as a service. And while storage is, of course, essential to any IT environment, I still felt that Apex was playing catch up by only offering storage as a service and it had a long way to go compared to more established as a service solutions with broader offering like HP GreenLake, which I think was in the clear lead, at least still a year ago. But throughout the year, there has been new announcements and there were some more at the Dell Tech World. So let's take a look at the state of Dell Apex now. So Apex was announced a year ago with data storage services being the first service. Since then, they've added three compute services, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and cloud services with VMware Cloud. All three are based on Dell VxRail. The difference is in the management model. There's also Apex backup services that's essentially Druva as a service. At Dell Tech World, they added Dell Apex Cyber Recovery Services to the portfolio. The keyword here is recovery. 
They'll not only offload hardware, software and operational stress away from you, but also make sure that in the event of a cyber attack, data is successfully recovered as well. So altogether, officially Dell ABEX portfolio now contains six services. Data storage services, private cloud, hybrid cloud, cloud services with VMware Cloud, backup services and cyber recovery services. There's also of course the Dell Apex Custom Solutions, a fantasy pizza option where you can choose all the ingredients more or less freely from Dell portfolio. And then Dell gives you a custom subscription price for your best bespoke solution. I kinda don't like to count these sorts of tailored solutions as cloud services since it's not really as easy as picking an option from the menu and clicking order. All infrastructure vendors have been providing solutions like these already for years before their current cloud solutions. As a comparison, hyperscalers have some two to 300 different services, depending on your maths. With Aruba's offering recently added, HPE GreenLake has just over 50 cloud services in their portfolio. However, the way I see it, the biggest challenge for Dell, HPE or any other infrastructure vendor transforming from box mover to providing cloud services is not technical, operational, marketing related or even the size of offering, but shifting sales force mindset. It's a ginormous effort to suddenly start selling services when the whole company has spent decades building the culture of selling hardware. This transformation takes time, and only time will turn the ship. And this is exactly where I think HPE has the biggest advantage. Dell Apex is just one year old, while HPE GreenLake was introduced five years ago in 2017. And HPE has been all in with GreenLake for three years. In 2019 at HPE Discover, President and CEO of HPE Antonio Neri announced plans to offer their entire portfolio as a service by 2022. And a lot has happened since. So there's still some catching up for Dell Apex to do, but Dell's vision and message is clear and they are dedicated. And when you see a dedication from a tech giant like Dell, you can rest assured big things will happen. Only time will tell how this will turn out to be, it's gonna be super exciting to follow. I actually just made a video about the state of cloud that touches the same topics from a wider perspective. Go and check it out from here. I will also leave a link down below in the comment section. While my main interest at Dell Tech World was definitely Dell Apex, there were also other announcements. One of the more interesting ones was Project Alpine, which amplifies Dell's multi-cloud narrative. The idea in short is to take storage array software like Dell PowerStore operating system and instead of running it on the storage array itself, the software runs in, say, AWS and connects to some high-performance cloud block storage like Amazon EBS and voila! you got Dell PowerStore running in the cloud. They've actually done this before with PowerProtect. In addition to PowerStore and PowerProtect, Project Alpine will support PowerScale, PowerFlex and ObjectScale. PowerMax is missing from the picture for some reason. Pure Storage and NetApp have been actually providing similar cloud storage solutions for a while now and they have been quite well received, so I wouldn't be surprised if Project Alpine turned out to be popular within certain customers too. Then there was the announcement of Dell partnership with Snowflake. This new partnership allows customers to use on-prem data in conjunction with data in the cloud while leveraging Snowflake's cloud analytics. Quite cool. While Snowflake was at it, they announced a similar partnership with Pure Storage just a few days after Dell Tech World. I wouldn't be surprised if we would hear still more partnership announcements in the very near future. Next, Dell PowerProtect Cyber Recovery for Microsoft Azure. The idea is the same as with Apex Cyber Recovery Services, with the difference that the data will be located in Azure, not in Dell managed and maintained facilities running on Dell hardware. Dell has actually had the same service available for AWS for a while. Now it was just Azure's turn to get the support. Dell did announce something new for the AWS version 2, CyberSense for Dell PowerProtect Cyber Recovery for AWS. CyberSense helps detect and recover from cyber threats faster by leveraging machine learning. There are also tons of enhancement announcements to Dell's existing storage portfolio, namely Dell PowerStore, Dell PowerMax and Dell PowerFlex. If my math is correct, combined some 500 new software and feature updates were announced. Pretty impressive. Three and a half day action backed enterprise tech geek fest. An evening party with Weezer and lots of smiling faces. I learned a lot, met some familiar faces, made some new friends and best of all, I met some of you subscribers. Dell Tech World 2022 was an epic experience. Thank you Dell. 
Thank you, Deltek World, and hoping to see you again next year.